guys welcome to multiverse so let's play a bit more with our friend uh, superman didn't get the chance to play very much with him uh, so far so uh, sadly uh, and also we were up to the point where we're go we were going to get our lair i had a couple of questions about the lair so hopefully maybe this video will be able to answer some of those questions eons ago you would get the option to be able to, to get your lair uh, you basically around level 10 15 uh, you end up going to the watchtower or the hall of doom if you are an evil villain and that is, uh, you had to play a whole bunch of missions in the Watchtower, and then uh, along those missions, it would unlock the option to be able to get the mission in order to get, to get your lair. But it seems that has been changed. Uh, we, we reached uh, level 9, you can see the mission is level 9, and we already have access to it. So, let's, let's get started. So you can see, we can claim our theme, we get the Gothic theme or the, the Deku theme. So, let's completely... So let's get the gothic layer and let's get the deco layer. Good. Now that you have a theme for your base, you need to get a deed. These are used to actually grant base ownership and to select a location for the entrance. So let's go back to our little journal. So here we get the, the little mission called Homestead. So let's complete that. Uh, and, it, and there's a little tutorial that comes up. So establish your own base, which can, uh, which you can theme and decorate uh, to best fit your style. So here you can see we have our little deed. Uh, let's say you need some some more deeds. Uh, let's say one base is not enough. You can go to the marketplace. You can go to bases. And, and you, you can get another deed. It's roughly three bucks for the deed. Uh, it's two seventy because I'm a subscriber. If you're not a subscriber, it's going to be three bucks. Uh, also, I purchased a whole bunch of stuff. I purchased the lairs. I purchased. Uh, I guess I'm gonna have to claim some of that. Uh, let's go to the redeem claim and claim at least uh, a few things. So you can see, uh, in in eight years on this universe online, I bought a lot of stuff. I'm not going to redeem everything. I'll just redeem. Uh, what is related to the, the lair. So you can say I purchased the eastern lair, I purchased the sewer lair, penthouse, I purchased them all basically. So let's consume all of those. And of course there's my amenities. I, I purchased all of them. There is a way to be able to get the amenities without purchasing them. I made videos about each amenity. So if you want to know how to get a, a broker for free or a teleporter for free, search in my videos and you should be able to see how to get those, uh, those amenities for your lair completely for free. So this should do it for the lair. Let's take a quick look just to be sure. So again, as you can see, in eight years playing this universe online, I purchased a lot of things. And that seems to be... Oh, the Brainiac layer. The Atlantean layer. Oh, let's get the Batman uh, emblem, because we can. So let's get out of here. So I'm going to consume my deed, and right now I have access only to the lair, or the, the gothic lair, or the deco lair. What if I consume my other lair? Once you purchase a lair, you have to consume it. And once you purchase a lair, you can redeem it on every single character in your account. Now basically, most items on the marketplace, uh, if you get them through the redeem claim tab, you can pretty much redeem, uh, claim, reclaim them on every single character in your account. Uh, there's some some of the new uh, new packs that have been added to the marketplace. Uh, sadly, those go straight into your inventory, so you cannot redeem those new packs straight uh, for every single character in your account. Sadly, when you purchase those new packs, it is for one character only. You can share some items between your characters, like you could decide to give, uh, let's say, the the future Batman style to one character, and you could give the Joker the the Joker style to another character. 
but uh, sadly it's only one uh, yeah. but if you want to have those for multiple characters you're gonna have to uh, to purchase them for every single characters and the one exception to that is the future batman style the future batman style can be unlocked for free for by everyone so let's consume our lair again so you can see this time it added all the the other layers that i that i've uh, just consumed But so, just so that we're we're all looking at the same stuff, I'm going to use. Uh, well, let's go with the. Oh, that's Superman. Let's go with the decoder. And then we choose uh, where we want to uh, to have our lair Metropolis. Uh, usually, the, having our lair will involve some cash. And sometimes uh, there are some, some locations on the map that will require not only some cash, but some source marks as well. Uh, sadly, as you can see, I have uh, 800 bucks, three source marks. So I'm going to have to go for one of the cheaper options. Uh, for Superman, let's go. Uh, let's go here. No, actually, let's go close to the park. So let's go here. So create your base and consume the deed. Yes. All right. Head to your base now, and we'll. Would you like to enter your base now? Okay. So once you get into your base, this is your mainframe, the nerve center of your lair. You can use it to gain access to powerful tools like orbital strikes, backup reinforcements, and powerful equipment mods. Your mainframe's power is maintained here as well, so be sure to keep it up so you can have access to more powerful features. This is your dispenser, where you'll retrieve the items that you've selected in the mainframe, such as communicators for your backup and orbital strikes. Finally, this is your base's control panel. It's used to enter decoration mode, alter some of the colors of your base, and for other utility purposes. So once we've entered our base, we can go back to our journal. And now we're going to be able to get our first three base items. So let's consume that. So if we go back into our inventory, you can see it gave us a lamp. It gave us a clock and it gave us an old table. Now that you've added the base items to your base inventory, use the control panel to enter decorator mode. So let's go into decorator mode. While in decorator mode, you can place your items at the appropriate markers. While most base items are cosmetic, there are amenities you can acquire that have very specific functions like bank, mail, and broker access. However, amenities can only be placed at specific markers. Once you've filled up enough markers, you will unlock free placement mode and be able to place base items almost anywhere. So, that about wraps it up. I'm sure you'll uncover even more interesting things about your base. Good luck. And don't forget to try placing those items. Oracle out. So you can see at the very bottom market, mar markers to unlock free placement mode. Uh, that is what Oracle explained. Uh, basically, right now we can only place we cannot place items anywhere we like. Uh, we have to place items within those uh, little blue circles. These are the markers. So here's the classic dinner clock. So as you can see, markers to unlock free placement mode one of twenty. Once we're going to place twenty items in our lair then we are going to be able to put items anywhere we like. We're going to unlock what is called free placement mode, which means that we're going to be able to put items anywhere we like in our base. And also you can see those, uh, those blue circles, that's for most of the items. But as, I, as Oracle mentioned, we have amenities. Amenities are things like the bank, the broker, the mailbox, uh, all these items. So these items, sadly, we can only place them within those uh, purple circles and there's only 10 of them I think in our lair let me check to be sure it's been a while one two three four five six 
four. Let's go upstairs. Five, six. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. So sadly, those ten places are the only those ten uh, ten circles are the only places where we can put amenities. And we can uh, at the end of the day, we can only put ten amenities in our lair. And odds are, um, most people don't have ten amenities anyway. If you have all the amenities, which I have right now, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There's nine amenities total. So let's put, uh, let's say the teleporter here. The teleporter is the, I, I've made videos how you can get uh, amenities for free. The only amenity you cannot get for free is the teleporter. The one exception to that would be uh, if you are a subscriber, you get 500 station cash each month. So you could save up your station cash until you get you get a thousand station cash, and then you could get a teleporter for free. That's the only way to be able to get a teleporter for free. As for the other items, like for the mailbox, usually I put my mailbox here. So for the mailbox, there are uh, ten or twelve. I think it's twelve collections that you need to gather. I made a video about the mailbox and all the twelve collections you need. Uh, sorry if there's some noise back there. There's some sort of uh, festivities nearby. So you get 12 collections for the, uh, the that you can get that will give you a mailbox for free. And that's the same is true with all the amenities. So let's put our solder cola here. So we have, we have our solder vendor. Sometimes there are some in some bases there are some uh, some amenities sometimes that you cannot put place uh, here. Like uh, you can uh, not this one, but there's a few bases where there, there's like a beam here. Like there, there's a few bases where I can't put, uh, let's say, my teleporter here. Normally, you should be able to put all the amenities in, in every circle, but there's a few bases because of, uh, of some items in the base that some uh, some beam in the base or so as part of a wall that will interfere. There are places where you won't be able to put all the amenities. It's sad, but that's how it is. So let's see up here. Let's put our crafting. Uh, I used to put the crafting in the basement, but um, I tried to, to... So this is the R&D station, it allows you to do uh, crafting basically. And there's the R&D vendor that allows you to purchase the items that you need in order to be able to do some crafting. The solder vendor, obviously this is where you can purchase sodas, this is where you can repair and a few other things like that. I'll, I'll go through them in, in just a bit. So let's put the broker here. Let's put. Uh, usually, I would put another mailbox here uh, with some of my characters. I have the I've purchased the amenities, so I, I have them with all my characters. But some of my characters also have the free amenity that you can gather with collections. If you do purchase the amenities in a marketplace, and if you do gather the free the, the collections to get the free amenity, you could get two of each amenities, which is why uh, there are ten slots. You could use all ten slots if you if you got all the the, the base items you purchased. And if you got uh, some base items, uh, some uh, amenities for free. So let's put a little bank here. Well, let's put the respect station here. Now let's put the sparring target here. So now that we've done that, uh, let's take a look. So here, this is our mailbox. Obviously, this is where we can get our mail. We can get our mail also uh, from the watchtower. We can get our mail also from the police uh, stations. But we do have a mailbox for our lair if we want to. This is our teleporter. By default, at first, you can only teleport to the watchtower. Uh, but eventually, you can... I'll show it to you in just... Oh, let's do it right now. Eventually, you're going to be able to get... Now, let's go downstairs. So let's try again. Eventually, you are going to get mods for your teleporter. So uh, those mods, you should be able to get a mod, let's say, to teleport to Metropolis, a mod to teleport to Gotham, a mod to teleport to... Uh, uh, there's a mod called Urgent Warfront that allows you to teleport to the different uh, DLCs. So you should be able to get uh, various mods 
as you play the game that will allow you to teleport anywhere you like. Uh, sadly, in order for those mods to work, you have to activate your, your cells. It's sad, but that's how it is. So if you activate cell 1, you're going to be able to gain access to your first mod. If you activate cell 2, you're going to be able to gain access to your first two mods. And if you activate cell 3, so with cell 3, you will gain access to all your mods. So in order to be able to unlock where you can teleport with your teleporter, you are going to have to, to get the mods here. I'll show it to you with another character in just a bit. It'll make, it'll make a bit more sense. So here we have our bank. In our bank, we have uh, where we can put our, our stuff. Let, let's say I have a couple of uh, time capsules. Let's put, that, let's put them in my bank. Or I could also decide to... There's the shared bank. The shared bank allows you to share items between uh, each character. So I could decide to put those here and give them to another one of my character. Uh, the booster, sadly, I cannot. The booster, I can only put it in my in my bank. Won't do that, but I could do that if I wanted to. And for the shared bank, uh, you can put uh, you cannot put everything, uh, but if you basically just try to put an item and you'll you'll figure out. Basically, when items are account bound, you can put them in the shared bank. And when they are not account bound, you you just can't. It's usually that simple. There might be a few subtleties I'm not uh, getting. Uh, also, I remember I made a video not so long ago about the, the uber rare demonic tail. Uh, I got another one in, the, in some Prometheum log boxes not too long ago. So the sparring target, it's basically something you can uh, use to be able to try out your, your attack, your combo and all that. Uh, we have the broker that we can use to be able to purchase a whole bunch of stuff on the broker. I'll probably make a new updated version of the broker uh, video. I already have a broker video, but uh, I'll try to make an update. And also the respect station, that's where we can respect your uh, your skill points. So you can, usually it costs uh, 500 bucks, although if you try to use it two, three, four times in a row, the amount will, will uh, increase uh, each time. So you get it for 500 bucks the first time, then it'll be, uh, I don't know, 700 bucks and uh, 1000 bucks. So it'll go up uh, by increments the more you use it, uh, but it resets every day. So you can you can use it as many times as you like, but it'll get a, a bit more expensive, but then the, the, the price resets uh, on a daily basis. And there's uh, the mainframe. The mainframe is where you can uh, you can also activate your cells. You can do it downstairs in the generator, but you can also do it here. So you could activate your, your power cells here. This is where also you can give uh, permissions to people to enter your lair. So you can uh, you can add either players that can that can enter your lair, or you could add an entire league. So you could decide a uh, league uh, so and so. They can enter my lair, move uh, items, use uh, amenities, and then every every people in that in that league would be able to enter your lair. And here is where you can purchase the sidekick, the backups, and it's they're they're fairly yeah, some of them like you can see the sidekick it costs the five source marks, twenty source marks, and then every month you have to pay for the boost. Every month, every sixty days you have to pay for the boost. Uh, you have to pay for seven. Yeah, you have to, you have to pay seven source marks in order to be able to get the boost. So basically, sidekick one uh, you can summon a sidekick. If you get sidekick, sidekick two, your sidekick will be a little bit more powerful, and if you get sidekick, sidekick three, your sidekick will be even more powerful and will, will do a whole bunch of stuff like uh, it will uh, taunt, it will heal you, it will shield you, it will replenish your power a bit. Uh, the backup, it's the same thing. If you get backup one, you will get uh, two backups. If you get backup two, you, uh, you also get two backups, but they'll be a bit more powerful. And uh, the boost will give you three backups. Uh, your backup should fly. Uh, there's a little bug right now with the uh, the, the shadow minions. Uh, somehow the shadow minions right now cannot fly. They should fly. So that should be fixed. Uh, from what Meps, Meps told me, that should be fi fixed at some point. Uh, here we have the orbital strike. Again, if you take uh, orbital strike, you'll get your orbital strike. Orbital strike two will make, make, make it a bit more powerful. And orbital strike three will make it even more powerful. Uh, the same with supply drops. Uh, so the, the more, the more, uh, if you get supply drops one, you'll get uh, some healing. Supply drops two will heal you even, even more, and it'll, it'll give you also a little bit, uh, a bit of heal over time. And also supply drops three, it will heal you, and, and it will also restore power to you instantly and over time. 
to you, not just to you, but all your allies will go through your, through your super light drops. And there's tactical mods one. Uh, tactical mod one, I think it's only a mod for your neck piece. I think uh, I should say. Oh, for the weapon. Sorry. Tactical mods. It will give you a white mod for your side for your, your weapon. Tactical mod two. It will give you a mod for your neck, and um, that's it. Well, that's a bit sad. Okay, so you pretty much have to take the boost in order to be able to, to be able to get your white mods everywhere. And again, you can see all the boosts. It's the boosts. It's uh, seven source marks for every 60 days. So every 60 days, so you have to save a bit of source marks in order to be able to pay for your mainframe every 60 days. And of course, you have to activate the cells. Like if you have, even if you have uh, Sidekick 1, Sidekick, Sidekick 2 and the boost, in order for Sidekick 1 to work, you have to replace the first cell. For Sidekick 2 to be activated, you have to replace the second cell. And for the boost to work, you have to repair, replace the third cell. So not only must you purchase these here, but you also have to make sure that your your batteries are fully charged. I think you, you have to charge them. Uh, I forget once a month, maybe once every sixty days. Uh, been a, it's been a while since I did that, so I, I just do it by default when it happens. And if you get the the sidekick, the boost, the orbital strike, all that good stuff, this is where you get it from. Although, right now, you can see here, we can get a little dive out. A little dive hideout. So let's get, let's get that. So let's collect that. If you are a free-to-play player, odds are you only have the dive. Or you only have access to the dive. Uh, the dive is for a free-to-play player. But in order to be able to gain access to, to the, 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 this layer, like the, the big layers, you have to be either a subscriber or you have to purchase the lair. Oh, let's show it to you. Uh, is it an upgrade? I suppose so. And there it is. So in order to be able to gain access, if you, if you are a free-to-play player, you will get that, gain access to the little dive and that's pretty much it. Uh, I think you can put a few amenities in there, and uh, that's the end of it for 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 you uh, for the layer system. If you want to be able to activate the mainframe and the generator and and all that good stuff, you have to have the layer system. It's sad, but uh, that's how it is. Uh, it's roughly five bucks, and that is what allows you to be able to get the the orbital strikes, the sidekicks, and all that good stuff. So if you are a free-to-play player or a premium player and you want to be able to gain access to everything with your lair, you have to purchase the lair system. If you are a legendary player, it's already included in your legendary account. If somehow you revert from legendary to a premium player, you will not have the lair system anymore. And let's switch character just for a second. I will show you the so let's take a look at our mainframe with our multiverse character. So again, you can see I purchased everything by now and I purchased all the boosts. My boosts are going to be good for 49 days. So in 49 days, I'm gonna have to pay for the boosts again. For the cells, does it say? I guess it doesn't say, but you can, you can see it's right now my cells are at 56%. If they reach zero, uh, my mainframe won't be uh, working anymore. Uh, you have to pretty much wait. I think you can wait until 20% before you recharge it. Uh, but you can wait also until you, it reaches zero or even a bit before zero if you want to. It's a bit annoying. Sometimes you'll be in the middle of a mission or in the middle of a, a raid or anything. And you'll, you're, all your activity, like uh, you can see right now I have uh, the backup, I have the a sidekick, uh, the orbital strike, the supply drops. But if I was not, if if my batteries expire and reach zero percent, then I wouldn't have access to those. It would, it would all be grayed out, and I would have access to them. And if we look at our generator in the basement, so you can see here, that's what I meant. Like there's a mod for Metropolis that you can use to be able to teleport anywhere in Metropolis. There's a mod for Gotham City that you can use to teleport anywhere in Gotham City. There's a mod called uh, Bases and League Halls that allow you to, to teleport to any base you have access to and any League Hall you have access to. I'll show it to you in just a minute. And there's a, a mod for Urgent Warfront. Like you can see all the places where you can teleport to with it. And there's a, 
there's also various uh, mods that you can put there. You can put mods for power. Uh, the blue mods are for health and power, not just power. Uh, the, the yellow mods are for support, so vitalization, uh, re revitalization, and I forget the last one, uh, dominance, I think. And uh, there's the offense mod for might or for precision. So once you put all your mod, these are going to give you extra boost to your character. The boost are, it may seem like a lot, uh, 1940 power or even uh, 500 uh, might. But when you look at, uh, at, at this point, uh, I'll show you my stats, you'll see that it's only a small drop of my stats. And there's also affinity mods that you can get if you, if you get two, piece, two elite pieces of gear, three elite pieces of gear. So there's also those mods that you can get. But in order for those mods to, to work, uh, you need elite pieces of gear. It's sad, but that, that's how it is. What so like with two elite pieces of gear, I would gain one vitalization, 1% uh, vitalization. For four pieces of gear, I would gain another 1%. With six pieces of gear, uh, my critical power will increase by critical power magnitude will increase by two percent for 15 seconds each time I use a controller debuff. It can stack up to three times, meaning uh, once for each debuffs. And if I had eight pieces of elite gear, uh, my group power heal and control roll would grant extra power to me and my group members. Sadly, I'm a bit of a slacker, slacker, pumpkin eater. I don't have any elite uh, elite gear. Also, uh, you can see the armory build. Uh, I didn't reach the armory just yet, but basically, once you get multiple armory, this is where you can, you can go to be able to equip different armories to your uh, D-pad. Normally, you get access to four armories if you go to uh, L2 and R2. You can see it opens this here that allows you to switch armories. You can have normally here you can have up to four armories but in total you can have up to 16 armories so basically you can get how you could have 16 available builds and then you could select which build you want to have uh, activated in your armory. Uh, here you can see the, the reason why those builds are grayed out. It's because uh, I, I didn't. Uh, you have to make sure to spend all your skill points on each uh, armory, and you have to make sure to basically you have to set your armories properly in order to be able to gain access to them. And once you do that, but a lot of my armories I only use uh, when I make videos. So a lot of my armories are only to be able to change uh, the style of my character. Actually, I should probably show you. A lot of my armories are used only for styles. There's uh, sometimes some of you guys ask, can we just uh, imprint the style in an armory? Yes, you can. If you look here, basically if, if, you, if you unequip all your gear and then you imprint your armory, the only thing you're going to imprint is the style. A lot of those armory I only use for the style. And if you go to the imprint menu, you can see that you can you can imprint everything. You can imprint the appearance. You can imprint your traits and loadout, your equipment, or your title. In this case, I've only imprinted the appearance. If I go back here, again, activate to activate it. I can activate everything. In this case, it doesn't really matter. But I can activate the appearance, activate the traits and loadout, equipment, or again the title. So if I activate the appearance. Are you sure you want to read it? Yes. And spoiler alerts, you can see that I'm working on a Kingdom Come video. Uh, so you've seen it here uh, first. So this is how I can... Uh, so basically all these armories are pretty much useful only for... Uh, for being able to, to save up styles for when I make uh, my videos. So I've only imprinted the style, I did not imprint all my skill points or loadouts or, or all that good stuff, which is why a lot of my armories, I don't have access to them through here. Doesn't matter, uh, that's not why uh, I, I don't need the, the, to gain access to them through here. The only time I'll use those armories is when I make videos and when I go into that room that I just showed you. The four armories that, I've, that I have here, these are the armories that are equipped in my uh, D-pad. So using the D-pad, I can switch 
from uh, from one to the next. Obviously, you have to wait for the cooldown. So these are really the armories that I'm using, and again, the other armories only use them for the looks. Just for the fun of it. Uh, so let's continue with our little uh, Superman friend. So if we go into our journal, so we can complete this here. And if we go back to our journal again, and now we're going to be able to set our, our first armory. So you saw all the armories I had with my other characters and how to use them. So how can you get, can you get your, your armory? Pretty simple. This is how you get your first armory. Like any, any other amenities, you go into your... Uh, actually, it's not really an, an amenity because you can place it anywhere, uh, not just in the blue circles, in the purple circles. So let's consume our armory. Let's go back to our panel here. Enter the correction mode. So again, at first we have no choice. We have to use those blue little circles. Although you can see I'm now at uh, 10 to 20 with all my uh, amenities. But now let's put the uh, the armory here. And also, as you saw, we still have our little table. Uh, let's put it here for the fun of it. So we can put items on the floor. We can put items on the wall, as you saw, and we could we can put items on the ceiling. Let's put our little lamp here. And we can put up to 16 armory in one base if we want to. Most people, two armory would do well enough. Uh, for others, you could go up to four, I suppose. Uh, sadly, if you have only one armory, you can only imprint one build into it. And if you were to, let's say, if you want only to imprint the look of your character as opposed to imprinting everything, the very first time, you have no choice, you have to remove all your gear. Let me show you. Let's so remove everything. So we come here, imprint, yes. So the very first time, you have no choice, you have to imprint everything. But then afterwards, if you wanted to, you could decide to just imprint the look of your character. Sometimes people will ask why they cannot just equip uh, the look of their characters, uh, not just imprint the look of their characters in an armory, you can. So here you can see here, if I just, uh, if, well, let's change uh, the look of my character a bit, it'll make more sense. So here I removed the back piece and the gloves for my character. So if we go, if we go uh, L2 and R2, it opens up uh, the D-pad so that we can uh, change armory. Here, sadly, we only have the one armory. Uh, sadly, for that to, for armory to be really useful, you need at least two of them. So you're gonna have a little choice but to purchase a second armory. You get your first armory for free. After that, you have to purchase an armory. Yeah, sadly, that's how it is. So let's use our little armory. And as you can see, it equipped our cape and gloves that we had removed. Sadly, we're, we can't go back. If we want to go back to the way we were, then we're gonna have to go uh, manually to go remove our cape and all that again. So let's say we only wanted to imprint our, our, the appearance of our character. So we could go here, imprint menu, imprint appearance, and there we go. So we could have one armory that's set only for the appearance if we want to, and then we could use it to just change the appearance of our character. So if you only have one armory, what you could do is that you could you could uh, build yourself a main uh, main style, a main a main loadout, a main. And if if you decided to let's say on the fly on one mission, you could decide to change uh, your loadout on the fly. So I could go into a mission and decide that okay, I'll put this here. Normally, if I, I would need uh, more abilities, but I could decide to change my loadout, add a few extra abilities that I don't have right now, 
and then if I wanted to go back, uh, then I would use, just use my armory. Again, with only one armory, not that useful. Uh, what I would do is that I would I would have at least two armories. One to be able to switch from uh, DPS, and to switch from DPS to, to, in this case, tank, or from tank to DPS as needed. So I will be able to switch back and forth. So in some mission, I could decide to be DPS, and another mission, I could decide, oh, I have to switch to tank, so I would be able to switch back and forth as needed. But again, you only get the one armory for free. You have to purchase your second armory. And of course, if you want to have up to 16 armories, you have to purchase them all. Where or where can you get armories? Very simple. So you can purchase amenities on the marketplace. Uh, I could have sworn there were packs that you could purchase uh, three amenities at once, but basically each amenity is roughly five bucks. Obviously, you could wait for a sale. If you wait for a sale, it's going to be a bit cheaper. Uh, again, for one armory, it's going to be five bucks. Uh, for four armory, it's going to be uh, 16, uh, almost 20 bucks. There used to be a pack of eight armories. I guess uh, people didn't buy it or too many people bought that one. I'm not sure. And you can see all the various layers that you can purchase. And there's a few items like our friend Crypto. You can purchase him from the, the marketplace for your layer. Uh, the same for the Atlantean Water Elemental Pack. And again, if you want to have uh, more than just one layer, you have to purchase a deed for each additional layer that you want. You can have up to four bases, so you can purchase up to three deeds in order to be able to get three additional bases, that will give you four bases total. Oh yeah, lock and load. So you can see here the little thingy here, lock and load. Uh, it's basically a mission you get for using and setting up your, uh, your, your armory. So basically we've, uh, we've installed our armory, we've imprinted it, once you do that, then you have to go to your generator. And then you have to just click on your generator. And basically it shows you how you could be, be able to set your, your D-pad. Again, right now we only have the one build. But if you recall, when I went to my other characters, I had all those builds. So I could choose four of those builds to put on my D-pad. And if we go to our journal, we should have finished that mission. So again, basically with your armory, once you imprint everything, you can see all the gear that's imprinted in that armory. And if you look also on your gear, you can see it's imprinted to build one, imprinted to build one. So once you get multiple armories, you could decide to imprint different gear to different armories. So you would see on the gear uh, what armory it is imprinted with. And of course, there's the, the little skid vendor. I mentioned, if you are a subscriber, you get 500 loyalty points every month. So you could save up those loyalty points to come here. On this little vendor here, you have every everything that you have in the marketplace. But you have to use loyalty points to be able to purchase those. Uh, so sadly, you only get 500 loyalty points every month. So over time, you will get enough uh, loyalty points to be able to purchase items here. So as I mentioned, there, there is a way to be able to get amenities for free if you want to. Again, I made a video with each amenity, so just search in my videos for, let's say, a uh, bank, and you should be able to see uh, my video where I show where you can get a free bank by gathering collections. For armories, sadly, the only way you can get it, quote unquote, for free, is to take your loyalty points and purchase it from here. Yes, technically, you pay for your subscription, but uh, you get basically five bucks worth of loyalty points every month. Uh, loyalty points are on uh, PlayStation 4 only. 
Uh, on Xbox, it's probably another type of currency. On PC, you directly get uh, Daybreak cash, so it doesn't matter. Uh, so you can you can spend those, days, those uh, Daybreak cash on the marketplace. But here, for PlayStation 4, uh, sadly, you have to use loyalty points. So again, you get 500 loyalty points every month. So you could use your quote-unquote free loyalty points to purchase the armory. And that is the one way to be able to get an armory for free. So after one month, you can purchase one armory. If you want to purchase four armories, obviously you're going to have to save a loyalty points for uh, roughly four months. Not sure why the mailbox is uh, 400 and uh, the broker is 500. Uh, there has to be a reason. I'm just not sure what it is. And of course, you can purchase uh, base items for, for your lair. There's a whole bunch of uh, base items back. Uh, the aquarium uh, is a bit pricey in my taste, but uh, this is just a bunch of, uh, like, I think it's four dividers you can get for your base. The research pack, uh, you can see the description of all the stuff you get from the research pack. The same with the hospital. There's the flash uh, base item pack. You get a whole bunch of uh, flash base items. I made a video about the, the flash base items, uh, the same with the Batman base items. And again, if you search through my, uh, or the Bat Computer uh, pack, so if you search through my videos, you should be able to uh, to see a video about that. And there's a few things you can, you can purchase posters. And again, here you can purchase a deed. And also there's all the layers that you can purchase. And uh, let's take a quick look at the control panel here. So again, you can enter decoration mode and do a whole bunch of decoration. Oh yeah. Also from decoration mode, if you look, you can see open color menu. So let's do that. So in the color menu, you can change the colors of your base. I'm going to change the blue. You can set the top, the blue uh, is changing. So there, there's the three colors that you can assign to your base and you can change each of those three colors. And uh, also it's the colors that will influence your emblem, but you can also change the emblem that you want. So I could decide to have the Batman emblem or just the S emblem. Sometimes the emblems will be a, a bit, there's a little bug sometimes where you, you won't be able to change the emblem for some reason. I'm not sure why it does that sometimes, but sometimes you, no matter how much you try, you just can't change the emblem. So you wait a bit, come back a bit later, and uh, usually after a while it fixes itself somehow. So again, you can see I have one armory placed, I have nine amenities placed, I have a total of 13 base items, and again, for the unlock free placement modes, I'm at 13 of 20. And also from the generator, you can relocate your base, you can rename your base, or you can pick up your base items. Pick up base items, basically what it does is that it picks up all the base item, all the items in your base, it will remove them, and then you have to install them again. Uh, renaming the base, uh, let's call it uh, Super Base. Hopefully we can. Sadly, there are things, there are some, it's like the trying to name your character. There are certain names that you cannot use. I could not use the, uh, I, I, sup, I could not call my base uh, Superman Base or something like that. Odds are Superman would not be uh, accepted. So let's try Super Base 1. Uh, sometimes I'll try to put uh, a G or a M to know if my base is located in Metropolis or in Gotham. Uh, it's just a thing that I do because I have a lot of characters and I have access to a lot of bases. So if I put an M or a G in front of it, I know that, oh yeah, it's a base I have in Gotham or it's a base I have in Metropolis. Uh, it, it does help when I'm looking uh, for a base to go to that is in Gotham or Metropolis. So if we go R2, M super base, okay. So we've changed the name of our base. Let's go outside. It'll make more sense if you see it from outside. So you can see here, enter M super base, we can see the name of my base. The same with uh, the, undo, the, uh, the map menu. If I go to warp menu, we can see a M super base. So you, you can still leave it base one by default, the game will call it base one, base two, base three, base four. But uh, if you want to give it a personal name, you can do that. And the same with uh, base tracking, uh, there's no one. 
Uh, I guess I'll explain base tracking another day. So let's go back into our base. And also let's go back to our little uh, panel. And we can also relocate our base. Uh, what that means, we can decide to change our base location. So here, we're in Metropolis. So we could decide to change the location of our base. And we could also decide to change which base we're using. So right now, like this is the dive. This is the small base that I told you about that free-to-play player have. If you are a free-to-play player, sadly, this is the base you have, and you don't have access to all the options that, that you can have with your lair. If you are a premium player, odds are you have the dive also. Uh, in order to be able to get uh, access to all the options, you have to purchase the, the, lair, st the, the lair system from the marketplace. It's sad, but that's how it is. And again, you can decide to locate your base in Gotham or Metropolis. And here, I'll show you quickly all the bases that I have. Like uh, there's the tech layer, there's the ancient layer, there's the sewer layer, there's the eastern layer. The gothic layer is one of the layers we get for free. There's the bunker layer, the deco layer. Again, that's the, the other layer we can get for free. The cave layer, if you wanted to have the... the, the sometimes uh, some of you guys ask, how can I have the base of the Batman? That is how I purchased the, 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 the cave layer. And I've put a whole bunch of Batman base items into it. The penthouse layer, the industrial layer, and re recently we got two new layers. We got the Brainiac layer, which are a little bit bigger than the rest of the layer. There's a, a big extra room that we have with the Brainiac layer that sadly most of the other layers don't have. The same with the Atlantean layer. The Atlantean layer has a brand new room that only the Brainiac layer has. And we're back to the dive. So again, the dive, if you are a free-to-play player, or if you are a premium player that does not have the layer system, odds are this is the only layer that you can use. And uh, that will be pretty much it for now, guys. Uh, hopefully I didn't forget anything. Uh, if I forget anything important, just ask in the comment section down below, and I'll see what I can do about answering your questions. So as always, guys, thanks for watching, and hopefully I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.